what's up tribe long time no see so i just wanted to post a little quick video because there's a lot going on in my life and there's a lot of things that are happening which is why i've been in my a because i am experiencing a transformational era okay things have shifted i accepted a supervisor position so now i'm a supervisor meaning i have listen there's a lot going on right now okay summer's here i'm ready to get out here and travel okay there's a lot of things that are going on but I was pulling my cards because I haven't touched my cards in months. Sad to say, but I had to disconnect for a while. But today I had to reconnect because starting this new position, I was just very nervous. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to tap in and see what Spirit had to say because I haven't talked for a while. Um, but I accepted this new position and I got offered a supervisor position before a year or two ago, but I declined it because... The people who are interviewing me, they just seem sad and depressed. And I was like, I'm not trying to I'll say no, thank you. So then when I got this one a couple, like a month ago, I said, sure thing. And so now that I'm here, um, one of the things that I was really nervous about is the fact that I've never had a lot of managerial experience like that. I've had a little bit, but not much. And now I'm a supervisor of a whole team. And I'm very nervous because, I don't know, it's new. But it's exciting at the same time because it's new because i was bored at my own position but the card that came out was the world card and it's ironic that the world card came out because when trying to make a decision on whether or not i should have accepted this position i was faced with staying where i was comfortable because i knew what to expect but i wasn't happy there and i was burned out there but i knew what to expect you know what i'm saying or trying something different being nervous because it's different and exploring that option of where it could take me and those two options were they were really heavy to weigh out because lately in my life since like covid settling down into figuring out who i was and starting this new youtube channel and all this kind of stuff i've always told myself that i wouldn't push myself to the to too hard like if i didn't feel like it was for me then i wouldn't do it however i'm becoming i'm starting to realize that um, I can still be in my feminine energy and delegate. I can still be in the energy of still getting to know myself and still putting that energy toward myself while still participating in the physical world because my spiritual gifts and everything about myself can help in ways that are outside of me opening it up in a botanica. Like I can, my gifts are going to shine wherever I go. So making this... The, I'm saying all this to say that these two decisions that I had to make weighed on me because it felt like a test within itself. It felt like spirit was testing me to see what I was going to do. And me not choosing this position gave me more anxiety than me choosing the position. And that never happened to me before, like the last position. The last position, I was too anxious to even choose it. I said, no, I'm not doing it. But this time around, I was more anxious of not accepting this than to um accept it so i accepted it and it felt like a test it felt like god was testing me in a way to see if i was going to push myself to see if you know him sending me a blessing was i going to continue to shut my eyes to it and and continue to pray to god that he was going to send me something you know what i mean um and so today pulling the world card it just it that's what this message came to me it's like you passed like congratulations you fucking passed you you are now entering something different you are now entering this different stage i don't know what this different stage is honestly i don't know what it is it's going to unlock some things within me that i didn't know i had it's going to unlock some things in me that i probably know that i had but i needed to get some experience on later down the road who knows where my path is leading me i don't know but all i know is the world card definitely stood out to me as far as like, I feel like the spiritual team that I have is, is, is cheering me on. They're excited. They're happy. Like I passed some sort of test and it, it's a little dawning to me. It's scary because I'm like, <laughs> I just want to feel supported. And the card that I just pulled is protective. I am not safe. This is crazy. I told you I haven't tapped in a while, so this is crazy. Um, the trigger statement is I am not safe. 
the true statement is I am secure. And the message is fill any areas of energetic weakness with strength. You can walk easily knowing that you are safe and protected. And the, this ties into the world card as well. Knowing that, you know, God is not going to give me anything that I can't handle. Okay. If anything is thrown my way, best believe I'm protected. Best believe these angels have my back. Best believe I'm I'm going to be able to energetically pull myself together and get, get it done. You know what I mean? Um, but I haven't had to be this person in so long because I've been, because of COVID mostly. Uh, but I haven't had to be this person in so long that becoming who I once was before the YouTube thing, you guys, is a little... It's nerve wracking because I thought I killed her off. I thought I buried her. But now coming into this new phase of my life, I'm realizing that ego death is not real. I'm realizing that killing off pieces of yourself is not effective. Um, I'm really figuring out that every single piece of yourself, whether this piece of yourself went through a negative experience, whether this piece of yourself just, you know, I don't know didn't show all the parts of yourself that so you didn't think it was truly you it is truly you it's just pieces of you that you still need and that you don't need to necessarily kill off but they're there for a reason they're there for certain purposes and um for me it's giving me some sort of confidence boost but at the same time i'm anxious but at the same time i'm confident and at the same time anything that i feel like you know terry terry works in the same area and he's like oh babe you know i'm like Oh, but I got this. You know what I mean? I just have this high, highly energetic energy where I feel like I can conquer anything that they throw at me or anything that can happen. Like, I just feel like I can just come through and switch the game up. But I don't know. It's not even about switching the game up. It's just about being very, very successful and being able to enhance my skills. And, you know, I'm always about ascending and using skills and getting skills and using this somewhere else so who knows where this is leading me to and this is the same thing for you guys in any kind of way that you can apply that message to um anything that's new scary know that you're protected know that you know you putting yourself out there and taking a chance and taking a risk is just as, as important as you staying comfortable um and I, this is a prime example of when I used to tell you guys, you don't know the path. You just know the what. You don't need to know the how. You just need to know the what and let God do what he needs to do. And this is one of those moments where I don't know the how. I don't know the what. I don't know neither one of those. All I know is things are happening for me. I know for a fact that I just want to be able to travel. I want a home, a house. I want to buy a house. I want a new car, low key. Um, and I just want to be able to gain as much skills as I can here in my hometown before later down the road, I make the choice to leave. And the best way to do that is in your hometown where you know everything. And I just feel like I don't know how or what is coming or what path I'm going down. My life can be totally different next year because it's totally different now. Um, it's nerve wracking, but it's also exciting at the same time. But I just wanted to say that because I don't know why, but maybe later down the road, I don't know why. <laughs> but I don't know nothing right now. I don't know nothing. All I know is <laughs> things are happening. <sighs> and I feel very blessed. And I thank God for everything that he has given me and continues to push me. And then I continue to follow my intuition because it hasn't felt me thus far. All right, so I love you guys so much. I'll see y'all in the next video whenever that may be, okay? Because your girl, I just been tapped in, tapped out, tapped in, and tapped out, okay? See y'all over on Instagram. If you follow me, you should follow me because I post on there almost every day. Uh, Bye. <laughs>